will continue from the lesson number 6 where we configure the Unicorn as systemd service and I will use the same my site application stored in demo folder. As in previous lesson all files and folders are created and owned by the same user as my current user. Also notice that I placed log files in demo var log directory. Make sure you have nginx installed and create a file nginx.conf in demo etc. I'll add the minimum content for this configuration file. Events directive is mandatory for nginx configuration even if it's empty. If I won't include error log and access log directives, nginx will try to log to a system directory where my user does not have any access to and it will issue an error in that case. Then notice this my site test uh, server name. This is the host name that I added in my etc hosts. A DNS resolver will first look to etc hosts file for a host name. I ask nginx to listen on a port 9000 which is unprivileged port and nginx will serve static files from demo www public folder. Let me quickly create this folder. With this structure in place I can add nginx service file. I will place it in demo systemd folder. Notice type forking which is necessary in case of nginx. Next I will enable nginx service and as privileged user I will add uh, nginx service. Notice I used ln only with a target and then I will start it. Let me check if it's running. Yes, it does. As you can see it is nginx process with our configuration. But before let me check if nginx serves static files from its root directory. For that I will create a test CSS file in public folder. Now let me access it through a HTTP request. Well it works. At this point we have two services running. Gunicorn which serves our Django application and web server running on port now 9000. But at this point these services don't work together. They are separate entities which have no idea about each other. To configure both nginx and gunicorn to work as a team we need to understand what are configuration parts on Django side relevant for web server and other way around what are nginx configurations relevant for Django. Let me start with simple stuff. nginx will receive HTTP requests on port 9000 and will pass it further to whatever application listens on port 9001. In nginx this is configured using proxy pass directive. The Unicorn on its side will receive incoming requests on port 9001 and pass it further to Django using WSGI protocol. WSGI is a very simple protocol. It is basically an agreement between two processes. The two will communicate via environment variables. Some of these environment variables are request method, path info, server name and so on. To make sure that Django does not accept requests from unknown parties there is a Django setting allowed hosts which will make sure only requests with specific server name are allowed. This is security measure. But these are very simple things and shouldn't create any confusion. Let me move on on the parts where things get tricky. Both Gunicorn and Nginx handle HTTP requests. But which requests will be processed by whom? Gunicorn and Nginx need to agree on some sort of scheme. A common agreement is that whatever URL starts with say prefix, Nginx will handle it. All other requests will be handled by the Unicorn. Let us go through a couple of examples. If there is the incoming request get pulse, Nginx checks it. Does it start with a prefix? No, it doesn't. So it just passes it to the Unicorn. If there is an incoming request get prefix pulse IMG thumb, Nginx checks it. Does it start with a prefix? Yes, it does. 
So nginx takes it over, strips the prefix away and whatever is left in the URL prepends a so-called root directory which will configure to be our demo www public folder. But how is this prefix scheme configured in Django? Here comes into the play Django's static template tag. Its main job is mostly to prepend this prefix. I have an example here. In our case, I will configure settings static URL to a string prefix. If I reference an image using static template tag, the result will be prefix pulse amg thumb. And the same thing will happen with any static content like pulse.js, uh, say index.js will become prefix pulse.js index.js and so on. This prefix scheme is not only used in production. In development, exactly the same way Django figures out what URLs refers to static content and what URL does not. And finally, in Django, all static content is spread in app static folders. In production, however, there is one single directory where static files are stored and served by Nginx. How shall we move all static content from Django realm to Nginx realm? Django helps us with this one-time transition. It provides us a collect static command. This command will take all static content from all apps in our case is pulse and admin and move it to a directory referenced by static root. I will configure it to demo www public. After running collect static command, Nginx is ready to take over static content. But enough theory. Let us see it in practice. Here is my site project where I added some static files to pulse app. Also, in settings, I added static URL prefix. Let me start built-in development server and show you how end result should look like. You see the greeting message is styled in green. And if you look at the source, notice here styles are prepended with string prefix. Same happens for admin app. Now, let me stop development server and focus on uh, Nginx configuration. With prefix scheme, we agree that only URLs which start with prefix will be served by Nginx. So, we will serve demo www public files only for URLs starting with prefix. All other URLs will be passed to whatever application listens on port 9001. But if I leave it like this, it won't work because of host mismatch. On the Django side, I set allowed host to mysite.test and here host will be specified as an IP. To fix this issue, I set host header manually like this. I set it here to host name, which will be mysite.test, which is the correct one and the one accepted by Django, or I remove this proxy set header directive entirely and change manually URL to correct host. Next step is to make gunicorn listen on port 9001. This is done with bind directive. And finally, in Django application production settings, I change static URL to prefix and allowed host to my site dot test. Let me restart both Nginx and gunicorn. And notice here port 9000, which is the port where Nginx listen to. And it works. At least it works halfway. As you can see, Nginx cannot find static files. And this is sort of obvious because our www public folder is empty. And to fix this, I need to add static root setting and run collect static command. Which as you can see moved all static files from Django realm to Nginx realm. Let me check that in browser. And voila, it works as expected. 
I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching.